In the first chapter of Genesis, the very first page of the Bible, God gives us the reason why he created man. Because man has completely forgotten about that, throughout the world men and women face problems for which they don't know what the solutions are. They don't seem to find meaning and purpose in life. Well, you never find it until you come back to what God says in his word. You know the Bible is really like a book of instructions, an instruction manual. If you buy a tape recorder, or a washing machine, or some expensive electronic gadget, along with that you will get a little booklet. This booklet is the manufacturer's instructions on how to use this particular gadget that you have bought. If you are wise, you will just follow the instructions in that booklet exactly. You won't change a single thing, because you realize what? You realize that the manufacturer knows better than you. How that product was made, how it is supposed to run. If there are certain special warnings given saying, don't do this, don't plug this in here or don't put a jack into this, I am sure you would not experiment. You would just obey because you may blow up a rupees. 10,000 or rupees. 20,000 worth of equipment. You certainly don't want to lose that much money. You would experiment with things that are cheaper, but not with something very expensive. Now what is the value of your life? A human life is far more than 20,000 rupees, far more than many lakes. In fact, once Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? In saying so, he took a balance and placed the whole world with all its wealth, all its glory, an honor on one side, and one human soul on the other side. And he said that one human soul was heavier. He weighed more than the entire world. So you are very valuable. Then how is it that man, who is so valuable, is so careless with following his maker's instructions when it comes to how to run his life? That is the tragedy. If you want to know why there's so much chaos in the world and why things have gone to a real mess, here is the answer, God gave man certain instructions and he never followed them. That is the reason for confusion in the world, in individual lives, in families, and between nations. So let us look at Genesis 1. We read here about the time when God made different things on this earth. Each day he made something new. But whenever he made any of the things, he never told us the purpose with which he made them. For example, on the first day he created light. What is the purpose? Well, we don't know. We can guess, but God never said what the reason was. The next day, he created the heavens. No purpose mentioned. The following day he created the dry lands, and the plants and the trees, no purpose mentioned there and so on. And also with the animals, the fish and the birds. But when it came to making man, finally, before he even started making man he said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And let them rule over the fish in the sea or the birds on the sky. So we see the first purpose with which God created man was that man should show forth the likeness of God. That means if man moved around, you could see what God was like, because God is a spirit and invisible. God wanted his character to be manifested through a created being. Now, in an earlier study, we had considered how God had made the angels before he made man. But there is no evidence in the Bible that God made the angels in his image. No angels could manifest the likeness of God. That is a unique privilege that God gave to man. Man was made in the likeness of God to show forth God's own image and character.